The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good morning, folks. Welcome to the June 17th, the magical Monday edition of today's Trader's Edge show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. Now, the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two-by-four shift, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I are going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I at just past 11 o'clock in the morning. I want you to know I'm absolutely uh, uh, um, grateful for your presence here. But more important than that, and that's this. During this next 53 minutes, I am here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. I'd love to hear from you. 877-927-6648. That's the number to call in. But if you've got a question and you can't call in, well, you can always send me an email. Send it off to Steve at TFNN.com. Inside the subject heading, please put radio show question. Of course, if you're inside our Tiger's Den, well, then any and every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Magical Marvelous Monday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show. Right now, we got a mixed bag out there. The mix goes like this. You got the Russell off 11, New York Stock Exchange down 16. The other US, US industry are trading the upside. The Dow just by a smidgen, the SP by eight, the NASDAQ by 66. The semis are up 12 points, the trendies are up 17. Gold's trading off 11 bucks, down at, at the 23.37 mark. Silver's up a penny at 29.48. Lights Recruit is up nearly a dollar at 79.40. Natural gas off 11 cents, the 30 year treasury down one point at three ticks. She's printed out at 119.11. I wish I could tell you who the leaders are in the clubhouse to the upside as well as the downside, but these signals got their systems kind of screwed up this morning. So we can't do that. But what I can do is uh, show you it's really going to be an interesting outcome here over the next couple of days. You want to talk about confusion? Well, let me give you a little bit of confusion out here. Let's go take a look at New York Stock Exchange Advanced Decline Oscillator. What you will see right now at 11.09 in the morning, this is trading at minus 219.17. Minus 219, once you get below minus 50, and I do not know where we're going to end the day. But if we do end the day at the min at below minus 150 level, we have uh, uh, successfully achieved oversold conditions. That's right, oversold conditions. Now, we've got oversold conditions signal there. We have a spot volatilics that still is below the 50-day exponential moving average. However, that spot volatilics has just created a slightly a higher set of lows out here. The 50-day is going to be the key area at the 1341 level. If price closes above that, well, that's going to shift and give the uh, sellers the edge out there, which would go, uh, you know, opposite of what we just took a look at inside the New York Stock Exchange Advanced Client Oscillator. So Stevie's got his work cut out for him at the end of the day, if in fact that's where the New York Stock Exchange Advanced Client Oscillator sits. And what I have to do is I'd have to combine this chart in one way, shape, or form with these other charts that we're going to go ahead and take a look at right now. And we take a look at these other charts. What I'm really referring to out here is going to be right now the daily NQ. And it may be by day's end, the ES mini as well. Now, what I'm really referring to is I'm going to go ahead and open up the NQ. We're taking a look at the September contract out here. This is now the lead contract inside of the equity future contracts out here. Because that was kind of a little bit of doubling up. But now you can see that today is going to become bar number nine of a TD9 count. We'd have to see one heck of a wicked sell-off intraday at the end of the day for that not to unfold. Now, today's bar number nine. That says the top occurs either today or tomorrow, if a top is going to form. So now we're talking about 
tops here in the NQ, yet we take the New York Stock Exchange Advanced Klein Oscillator, it is definitely in oversold territory, at least as 11 to 11 in the morning out there. So that's got Stevie a little bit perplexed. Of course, what's more important is really how is the uh, ES Mini uh, trading in relationship to that spot volatility? Because if we get a close above that, that's going to suggest that sellers have control. Now, that would make sense with regard to at least the NQ forming a top. And if a day's end, we get a spike above bar number seven out here inside the ES Mini. Let me just get my crosshair out here. Bar number seven took place on June the 12th. The high of that candle, this is the September contracting that we're looking at, is 55.1950. If we get a tick above that, just one tick above that, that will trigger the bar following bar number nine, and we will have successfully have a TD9 count top. So how's that going to work? We're going to get a potentially a signal, a TD9 count top, and we are in oversold territory. That's why Stevie is definitely perplexed out there, and I have to do some further research. Of course, I really want to—I want to do the research until I see how the end of the day plays out here, or really if the ES Mini can tick above that high from June 12th out there again. That number is 55.1950. Then I'll start doing that work and try to figure out if there's other instances where that has taken uh, place out there. If we take a look at what's going on inside the Dow Equity Future contract, really not much. We saw on Friday last week, price got down, tested, rejected the bottom of its profile, 38.709. We're trading above the top of the profile, but below um, resistance, which right now is at 39.205. That is courtesy of the oscillator and change line. So we're sort of in a, uh, I'm not sure what the uh, Dow Equity Future contract is really trying to tell us. But what we can say is that if we do get a close above that red oscillator and change line, well, then it would tell us loads, and those loads would be, hey, we're going to go ahead and head higher. If we take a look at the Russell 2000, the Russell 2000 has an A to B equals CD pattern to the downside. Let me get rid of, uh, as I switched over the contracts out here. But if price closes below, and right now we're trading below, the low, this, the low of the buy the D point pattern, the Gartley buy pattern, that was from the trading day. Well, let me get my cursor out here. That was from the trading day again. We're looking at the September contract. That was from June 11. That low is at 20, 2810. We're at 2019 right now. If we close below 2020, 202810, that's going to negate the buy the D point pattern. And that's going to suggest that we had lower out here. Again, somewhat perplexing with regard to the markets, usually that New York Stock Exchange advanced client oscillator being in oversold territory out there. I mean, really perplexing, at least for Stevie. Doesn't happen too often, but sometimes we just get these signals out there and you're trying to figure out what the Sam heck is the market trying to communicate to you and I. To make matters uh, even more interesting out here, if we go switch over and take a look at what's going on inside the semiconductor uh, sector out there, Thank you, Mr. Bill, for pointing this out. You got the SOX on the left-hand side. Today is going to the C index that we're taking a look at. The SOX is going to go ahead and form a TD9 count pattern today, a top, and it's going to complete that pattern tomorrow, falling in line with the NQ. If you look at the SMHs, by the way, they have different holdings than the semiconductor index. It also is in bar number nine today. It says that uh, it tops either today or tomorrow. And we take a look at the NDX cash index. You and I, we take a look at the NQ out there. You'll see today is going to become bar number nine as well top today or tomorrow hmm something to think about steve rhodes with tfn we'll be right back If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. 
Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening Call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, uh, folks. Uh, oops, what the heck did I just do there? Okay, uh, so we're taking an, another quick peek at that New York Stock Exchange advanced client oscillator. And Dan, uh, Jimmy, you know, absolutely. I, I uh, we do say that an oversold market can get even more oversold. We're now down at the minus two eleven, but it can't get that much more oversold. If we just take a look at that indicator, and the indicator that we're looking at here is the uh, one that's in the uh, panel number three from the top, panel number two from the bottom. It says advanced client oscillator in the uh, middle of the uh, chart out there. If you take a look at the last couple of times, just to show you, take a little tour here. Last time we got down below minus one fifty was not that long ago, May twenty ninth. What do we see? We saw at least a, a bounce out there. What's the one before that? The one before that took place on April 16th. Now, that got down to minus 283. And that generated quite a rally. That took, actually took us to new all-time highs out there. Uh, the time before that takes us back to January 17th. 2024. Well, obviously, that created the bottom for the year out there. That was that signal. We got down into the uh, minus 150 level back in uh, October of 2023. The way that that pattern generated its bottom was we had a rising advanced client oscillator with falling price. That's kind of a normal thing. That was the same thing that took place back in the August uh, of 2023 time frame. We got down and we closed at a minus 281 level. Again, we're minus 211 right now. We can continue to keep going back further. And you'll see when we get down to these levels at the minus 150 or lower, and we don't get uh, you know too terrible. The, the lowest reading we've seen in the last couple of years came back on uh, March of uh, March 13th. 2023, he got down a closing level of minus 323, and uh, that resolved itself again by having a rising advanced client uh, uh, oscillator out there with price. Um, um, continuing lower, and I'd imagine we see a TD9 counter roads momentum indicator bottom back in March of 2023 out there. So yes, it can absolutely get continue to get even more oversold, but not like an indefinite period of time out there. We're approaching those areas where you really should see a bottom. So maybe that is signaling. What maybe that what that is signaling to you and I is that the uh, TD9 count tops we're taking a look at are going to fail out there. I don't know, and again, I'll look at it closer. 
I'll look at it closer, depending on what the end of the day uh, looks out looks like out here. So let's go shift back to those uh, white background charts. And let's take a look at the NQ. Let's just finish off taking a look at the equity futures uh, out here, just to get a, one more feel for what the signals are. Now, we talked about the daily uh, ad nauseum out here. If we take a look at the other signals, so, so we're making a top. Right. We should see intraday signals giving us that same um, uh, set of patterns out there that they're making a top. Well, in the case of the NQ for its five hour time frame, the current bar that we're in completes at uh, 2 p.m. Well, what I'm here to say is that if price closes above 20, 12, 75 at 2 p.m., it will have negated its roads momentum indicator top out there. Hmm. That would even be more puzzling out here. If we take a look at the. Um, Four-hour chart. Give me a moment. I'll try to shrink this down. There we go. Four-hour time frame chart. Now, this candle also, I believe, closed at 2 p.m. It does. So here on the two-hour time frame, it has a Rhodes Mintum indicator top. Its high is at the 2012.75 level. So, uh, you know, you could get two, two for out there uh, that could negate its top. On a 120-minute time frame chart, and this is at 12 noon, so you can get the earliest of those signals uh, in about uh, 38 minutes out here. So 38 minutes from now, 12 noon, what you want to watch, this has a TD9 count top. This has a Rhodes Mintum indicator top, and that high again also out to 2012.75. So you don't necessarily have to wait right now until 2 p.m. because at 12 noon, you could be getting that signal with regard to the NQ. Now, we may find that prices just rallied up to this resistance point. I mean, the high so far that we've seen in the last two hours has been 20. 01925. Remember the number that we're taking a look at is 20. Uh, 01275. So we've tested and we've rejected that number. So maybe that resistance area holds. No, we've not seen any breaks of support. Do we have any shorter term time frame signals to look at? We do have a 30 minute roads momentum indicator top that actually went ahead and confirmed at five o'clock this morning. The high of that pattern is at 2012.75. You kind of got that. So here on a 30 minute base, that would be eight minutes from now. If we close above 20.012.75, that pattern will have failed out there. That doesn't mean that the two the four and the five hour chart will fail but it is definitely worth noting on that 30 minute time frame chart that a same pattern and the same price just simply has failed so that's what you'll want to watch uh, at uh, during the day and at least through about two o'clock to get some type of feel for what the nq is signaling to you let's go ahead and uh, spend some time take a look at some requests that have come in the first one coming in this morning was from nicholas nicholas wanted to take a look at w-e-l-l -L. and i'm feeling better so i'm feeling well my 100 percent absolutely not but uh, I don't need to be 100%. I'm Stevie. Perseverance roads out there. I'll just take 51%. Now, we take a look at Well Tower out here. And what Nicholas would like to do is take a short position. Well, when we take a look at what do we have out here, do we have any kind of a top? Um, let's just pull this daily time frame chart back. Maybe we have a sell the D point top out here. And Stevie would say, well, we've got to pull it back even further if that's going to be the case. So can I find a top? I can find a sell the D point pattern. Absolutely. So that sell the D point pattern would have been confirmed out here the trading day of June the 10th. Now, there was a new profile that had formed the prior day. What we have out here, Nicholas, is you've got that top that formed on June 10th. And the very next day, price tested and rejected support. Support has held 102.82. And now what you have is a consolidation with inside its profile. I would say this signal is somewhat neutral, not completely neutral out there. If you do want to go ahead and take a stab at this, price is pulled back into its sell zone, so to speak, 103.96 to 104.54. 104.54 would be the better place to go ahead and take that uh, long position or short position. Why? Because if price closes above that. Well, one, your stop needs to be, if you're going to take a long, it should be above the uh, high of June 10th. That would be the sell the D point pattern. Well, actually, what that would also be is a Roach Mintum indicator top out there. Um, but still, you, I would say your stop would need to be above 105.25 at a minimum. Now, when we take a look at the weekly time frame chart, the T weekly time frame chart is saying, hey, Stevie, tell Nicholas, don't short W-E-L-L. -L. Why is that? We don't have any kind of a top out there. None. Zero. Zippo. Now, we do have his new profile that is forming this week, Nicholas. Now, that new profile has got support at 97.31, and price is trading inside its sell zone right now. That's between the 102.10 to 105.69 area. We take a look at the monthly time frame chart. Where are we at? New all-time highs this month. Do we have any kind of a topping pattern? 
We do not. If anything, there's an A to B equals CD pattern on the upside. Was this passed with volume in the month of May? Well, the swing point that we're looking at here takes us back to April of 2022. 39 million shares traded during that month. And last month out here, we were at 52 million shares. Nicholas, well... It's give, just giving you a signal that longer term, what this wants to do is wants to move higher. And this is a big A to B equals CD pattern, the upside out there. I'm just simply drawing in the A to B. I'm going to move this over to the C point of that pattern out here and then give you an approximate number. That approximate number takes us up into the 130-ish level out there. Yeah, 130-ish. So monthly time frame has given you a confirmed A to B equals CD pattern to the upside. The weekly has no top, consolidation with inside a profile. The daily has a top that found support at the bottom of that profile. I'd say shorting W-E-L-L -L may not turn out very well. Steve Rhodes with TFNA. Okay. Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. The consistency you're looking for is closer than you think. One or two adjustments are usually all you need to change your equity curve from red to green and keep it there. Come join Larry Pesavento Live to learn what separates the winners from the losers. Join Larry Pesavento on the second and fourth Friday of every month for three hours of live trading from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Eastern Time, where Larry will show you the market setting up and most important of all, the state of mind of a winning trader. By watching Larry trade, you'll learn the Fibonacci levels. You'll learn how to apply A to B to C to D trading patterns. You'll learn trade management, pattern recognition, and much more. Join Larry Pesavento on Friday, June 14th and Friday, June 28th this month for his live trading sessions, where you'll sit right beside him as he trades the market live. For this month only, enter code LarryJune24 and save $50 off your first month. For all the information and to reserve your spot today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk. So why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. This portion of the Trader's Edge is brought to you by Direction's Daily Leveraged and Inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC.
Welcome back, uh, folks. We're going to take a look at Hood, uh, Robin Hood markets this for uh, both uh, G-Man and S&P inside our Tiger's Den out there. So we take a look at uh, Robin Hood right now. What we see out here is prices consolidating with inside its daily profile. It did find support at the bottom of that profile, which is 21.95. If it were uh, to close below that, we would get a profile change in trend signal. As we pull this back a bit further, what kind of pattern do we really have out here? So I don't really have it as a, a top. You can see it shows letter G up there. But based upon the uh, market moving lower and getting to a letter F back here on May the 10th, that, that the continuation of that signal is not likely. So I don't have any kind of a top that I see out here inside of Robinhood. We just have a consolidation with inside the profile, 2195, again, being the support level. If price did close below that, you would get, at least for two consecutive sessions, the signal would be a profile change in trend. What would that mean, Stevie? Well, that would mean I'd look at the weekly chart to try to figure out where its level of support is. And clear enough, it is at its oscillator and change line. So if Robinhood were to close below 2195, and I'm not saying it is going to, if it were, price would go target support at 2102. Now, we take a look at the weekly time frame chart. We do see a Roads Mintum indicator top. And when you get a top out there, price should pull back to test support. So what is game out here right now is 2102. We're not going to get there. Unless price closed below 21.95. Now, not that it can't spike it and get back up, but um, you know we're a ways away from that. On a monthly time frame chart, no topping pattern. Bar number seven. So I don't see a top on the uh, monthly. I don't see a top on the daily. We do see one on the weekly. This week already, you know, we did trade below last week's low. Um, so I don't know what you were looking for out here, either of you. If you were looking to get in, just try and understand what was going on. So at least at this stage, we'll just leave it with regard to what is going on. Now, with regard to Hood, Robin Hood, that is, this could be uh, day number three of consecutive moves to the downside. So let's go ahead and open up that set of charts or that chart itself. And here what we can see is and typically on a rally inside a bull market. And Robin Hood has certainly been in a bull market. We could see coming off of the most recent lows back in February of this year, we saw a one two bar retracement out here. That was back on the trading day of March the 12th. Con price continued to move higher. Then we started to see a couple of two bar moves to the downside and really only two bars to the upside. So we did see price start to move a bit lower out there. But right now today we're gonna be in bar number three. So I would say, Odds would favor that uh, you would see at least a two-day bounce after today out there. So that's what we've got. We take a look at Robinhood, S&P, uh, G-Man. I hope that helps you out. G-Man also want to take a look at Amazon, AMZ, and as a ticker symbol. We take a look at it. What is it signaling to you and I? Well, the first thing is we are trading below the bottom of its daily profile. That profile is at 182.40. That is the number to be watching today. If price closes below that and closes below it tomorrow, it tells us we have a profile change in trend. That would mean we look at the weekly time frame chart, which has a Rosemont indicator top, which has led to nothing more than a sideways consolidation move, which is inside its weekly profile. Right now, we're back below the top of that weekly profile, which was at 182.45. So a two close below 182.40 is going to suggest that we target G-Man, the 178.79, or maybe even 173.30 level out there. If at the day's end, price is able to close back above 182.40, we would not have a profile change in trend signal out there. We would just have a consolidation with inside the daily profile. Um, is there anything else that Stevie sees out here in Amazon? Let's open up the monthly chart. I do see a bearish engulfing candle. What did that confirm? Well, let me just actually see if the retracement on this monthly chart out there was a deep enough retracement, being a 0.382 or more to the uh, downside. If, if that's really what unfold looks like, maybe it did. Uh, I wish this would work for Stevie. Oh, what the heck is going on here? Uh, I'm just trying to, oh my goodness, trying to do this off screen out there. I'm going to give it one more shot, which it should work this time. And then just see what that retracement is. And it is 42%. So you do have a sell the D point pattern. Let's just make sure of that. Here is our A to B point, the A point starting basically the TD9 count breakout level. We're going to run up to the bar number seven out there, that little bearish engulfing candle. And then we had a retracement, which was a 40% retracement uh, the following uh, month out there. Uh, give me a second while I try to grab this sucker. Hey, so please. Yeah, the system is making it hard for me. Do not know why. I treat it well. 
There we go. So you do have a sell the D point pattern out here with that bearish engulfing candle back in April. We've just seen sideways movement out of Amazon. And uh, be quite frank, we didn't take out the prior. So we got that top in April. What do we see in May? We actually saw a price spike above the prior month's high, not below the prior month's low. We take a look at what have we done so far in the month of June. We haven't gotten last month's low. We haven't gotten the last month's high, but the more important thing is we haven't gotten the last month's low out there. So I'm going to say that sell the D point is on a little bit of shaky ground as we speak right now. So how are you going to summarize Amazon? Watch 182.40 today and tomorrow. You get a close below that. We should see a further retracement. So hope that helps you out, G-Man. Uh, Mr. Bill, as he was pointing out the TD9 counts, he was also pointing out in Micron, MU is a ticker symbol of TD9 counts. And we take a look at today. Today is going to go ahead and confirm that pattern. It'll complete that pattern tomorrow. It's got a road momentum indicator signal telling us that markets are stretched. What should unfold out here? What should unfold is price should pull back to support. In the case of Micron, the first level support. Now remember, this pattern will not complete until tomorrow. The numbers I'm going to give you are going to change, but you're going to get a pretty decent guideline. And that guideline is price should pull back to test support. And support here would be 139.74. We look at the weekly time frame chart. What do we have out here? Now, let me just pull this back and just make sure before I say something that I would want to retract. I see an A, B, C, D, F. Yeah. So you are in wave number seven on a weekly basis, but you can't get a confirmation of that being a top until you get a lower high. And the earliest that could take place would be next Friday. So right now, I'm going to say with you got a topping signal, but it's not been confirmed and rice price could continue to rally out there. So we're going to be cautious on the weekly, the monthly chart. Looks like it will go ahead and confirm a TD9 count top this month, complete that pattern next month out there. So uh, what Micron is really set up for, most certainly here, Mr. Bill, is a top. So we'll watch the daily first, and then we can gravitate over to the weekly and then the monthly. And that top ought to take place between today and tomorrow. You also mentioned that Microsoft had a similar pattern, that similar pattern being the TD9 count top. And sure enough, today is going to complete that pattern or confirm that pattern. It'll actually be completed tomorrow. Now, the weekly chart says, I don't know what the heck you guys are talking about. Top schmop. Why? Because there's no topping signal. You're trading above profile. You're trading above its offset and change line. It's in breakout mode. And the same is true with regard to the monthly chart. However, the monthly chart is in bar number eight. But that says on Microsoft, you can get a top between this month and then the next two. Takes us out to August time frame out there. So the daily time frame is suggesting they may get ready for a little bit of a rest out there and pull back to test support between 433.60 and 435.21. Steve Rollins with TFNM. We come back to spread. Let's look at CLF for Brent in Martinez, California, and GPRE for Dan in New York City. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, You've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. 
published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Welcome back, folks. We take a look at the uh, stock charts here for Cleveland Cliffs. Uh, CLF is the uh, ticker symbol. This is for Brent in Martinez, California. Brent has been tracking this. He's identified a daily TD9 count bottom pattern that is going to go ahead and complete today. So what we want to see here the very first level of resistance, is be it's asset or in change line, which is at $15 even Stephen right now. A price could close above that. Then it would suggest that we would rally up towards its TD9 count resistance level. Its breakdown resistance level is at the center of its bullish structured profile, which we've been below for several weeks out there. That would be where a counter trend rally would end. So the first place to watch is that red oscillator and change line. A price can close above it. You likely have at least a trade. That should take us up towards 17 bucks out there. That's what the daily time frame chart is telling us. Turns out the weekly time frame chart is going to go ahead and complete a TD9 count bottom pattern this week now price can still move lower out there um, but if the daily td9 count is going to take effect we won't see a close below today's low whatever that is right now the low of the day is at 1442 i do not know what the low of the day will be though but that's the present low of the day so the weekly's got td9 count bottoming signals as well again that pattern will complete this week on friday on a monthly time frame chart we have basically price uh, trading with inside its bullish structured monthly profile. It's trading towards the bottom of that at 14.04. So getting back to support, and we can see that support level has been tested a few times on a monthly basis, and it's held. You got monthly coming back to support, TD9 count coming back to its breakout level support. I'm sorry, the weekly time frame coming back to the support of its a weekly, of its a weekly a TD9 count pattern out there, while it's also producing a new TD9 count bottom signal and the daily. So. If we're going to get a bottom here, we should see some intraday charts start to give us the signal. What would that signal be? Well, I don't know. Let's look at the 30-minute chart. 30-minute chart has a Rhodes momentum indicator bottom pattern. That is going to, as long as price stays above 1447. What was this close here? This close was, sorry, got to do this. That close was. 1443 so that pattern's been negated so this needs brett this needs a new bullish reversal can on a 30 minute time frame to generate the next roads momentum indicator bottom signal let's move from 30 to 65 on a 65 minute time frame chart same pattern out there needs a bullish reversal candle let's quickly take a peek at the 130 minute time frame chart on 130 minute you got 330 minute uh, bars out there this is going to need a bullish reversal candle as well so you're looking at those short-term time frame charts Brent in order for this to give you the uh, signal short of that I'd say you have to watch that daily oscillator and change on again that's at about the $15 level so hope that helps you out as always good to hear from you thanks so much for writing in Dan in New York wants to take a look at GPRE so let's get those charts uh, 
fired up on our screen out here. This is Green Plains, Inc. Come on, work for me. There we go. So Green Plains, Inc. is trading out at 114. It's 1470 out there. This thing has been on a roll to the downside. Nonetheless, today will become bar number nine of a TD9 count. Says we should get a, a bottom signal between today and tomorrow. The first level of uh, resistance on a rally would be that oscillator and change line, Dan, and that would be up at 1565-ish. The weekly time frame chart, also in bar number nine of a TD9 count, says its bottom should form this week or next. And... Here we go on the monthly time frame charts. Wow, the eyes of Dan and the eyes of Brent are just simply amazing. Take a look at that monthly time frame chart for green planes out there. You are in bar number nine. Now, we don't know again, is that bottom this month? Is it next month? Is it not at all? But right now, you've got all the signals out here, daily, weekly, and monthly, that are suggesting we should see some kind of rally. Well, let's go look at those intraday charts like we did with Brent. We were taking a look at um, cliffs out there. Well, here on a 65-minute time frame chart, you have a bar number 8 that formed at 1140. You're likely to get a TD9 count bottom at 1245 today. That's an hour from now. Um, so that's something to be watching. Your 65-minute time frame chart. Resistance here is at 1548 and 1583. Let's uh, move down to a 30-minute chart. See what we got out here as far as signals. Turns out it is already it is confirming a TD9 count bottom. Now, Dan, you can see that there's a new profile that formed above price. That's typically a bearish message out there. So what you're going to want to watch is as price rallies and it gets up to the 1495 to 1503 level, is price able to surpass that area? Why? Because that is where a counter trend move on a 30 minute time frame would in fact begin to fail. However, if price closes about 1503, we likely get back to the 15. 22 level, that's the 30 minute TD9 count breakdown resistance area. So the 30, the 65, let's do one more out here. Let's put up that 130 minute time frame chart, see if there's any signals there. And you have a completed TD9 count bottom pattern. That went ahead and completed at 1140 this morning, so just about seven minutes ago. That suggests that price should rally up towards the 1685-1701 area out there. So that's what we see when we take a look at um, Green Plains, Inc. Hope that information helped you out, uh, Dan. Now, this was not necessarily a request, but it was just a, a little conversation. I thought it would add to the conversation inside the Tiger's Den. <coughs> Knew that cough would come at some point in time, and that's with regard to NVIDIA. Got to wet the whistle. All right. Now, in the case of NVIDIA out there, so you know what we're going to do? I'm going to go switch over to a different set of charts out there because what YOY was talking about was a weekly A to B equals CD pattern to the upside. So I'm going to change over to these black background charts. We're going to go take a look at a chart that occasionally we look at, which are the horizontal trading range boundary lines out there. So in a moment, we'll pull up those charts. Now here the daily is the uh, lines with blue out there. And uh, what these are, these horizontal trading ranges, what they, they help us to establish, let's take a look at the weekly time frame chart. We take a look at the largest number of co-located opens or closes. Doesn't matter whether it's an open or a close out there. We can see at this stage on a weekly basis right now, the largest contingent took place at the price of 1358. The second largest contingent was at 2687. There were 10, and then there were 18 at that earlier one. So that sets up the horizontal trading range. Once you have that value, you just simply add uh, that same value, and that's where you see those additional green lines. Turns out, that on a weekly basis, YOY, price is hitting the next resistance level. That's up at 133.23. That's its next horizontal trading range. But you mentioned that this is very close to confirming or getting to the A to B equals CD pattern of its price projection. I'm going to open up this chart. This is where it gets a bit tough with an instrument like this. Why would we start that A to B equals CD pattern out here at the trading week of, um, of October 30th, 2023? Why is that the A point? Why wouldn't the A point be down here, which is down at October 10th, the actual low, a significant low when we take a look at the charts out there? I would hearken to say that is more likely the logical spot for the A to B equals CD pattern out there. You know, this is where it gets a bit of a uh, art, you know, versus um, 
uh, versus uh, science out here. But now we take a look at that A to B equals CD pattern. That says we are a long way away from completing a one-to-one -one A to B equals CD pattern out there. Let me just get rid of that first one. That says you don't get that completion until 162.19. So why am I sharing that with you? Because when we get to this type or this set of patterns out there, that's what's nice to be able to fall back on that other set of charts that we have out here. So now we'll go back to that, or we'll certainly take a look and maybe close out the show. Take a look at NVIDIA for its daily, weekly, and monthly time frame, because that might provide you and I with a little bit better set of signals as to what to watch for and what to anticipate. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk. So why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Welcome back, folks. So we're uh, taking a look at NVIDIA out here. We can see that it does have a wave number seven top. That is a letter G on our screen out there. Um, if we do get a, uh, and the only way that gets confirmed is a lower high tomorrow. Uh, there's no road momentum indicator signal out there. I hesitate on calling any kind of sell the D point pattern out there because there's so many different A to B equals CD patterns that we can identify out here. I don't know which one is really the correct one. As we just pointed out in looking at the weekly time frame chart, which really clears things up or clears things up better than take a look at a daily chart. Now, in a weekly time frame, we've got a potential TD9 count top that could take place between this week and the next two out there. The monthly chart is in bar number eight. You could get a TD9 count top, but you'd have to still get that uh, pattern. You know, the earliest would be not until next month. 
out here uh, with regard to NVIDIA. So maybe we get a short-term top. Price bulls back and test support. First level of support be 127.17. Second level be 123.23. Let's finish out the show by taking a look at what's going on inside of metals out here. We're going to switch over and take a look at the black background chart. We'll look at that chart that we look at typically during the uh, 11 a.m. update. And here we take a look at the uh, August contract for gold. What we'll see is we'll see rising trend lines. And, of course, I've drawn in a falling trend line. We've got price right now that is pulled back and is testing one of the rising trend lines out here. We have seen a series of higher lows over the last three trading days out here. So is price at support? Well, it's inside its buy zone. It has a bullish structured profile. And the buy zone is between 23.14 and 23.34. I don't know if I, I should have done this earlier. should have done it, quite frankly, when I switched over to this chart, which is trying to take a look at the other intraday charts for Goldilocks. So I'm going to go ahead and put those up on our screen. We only have a few. Well, we're going to run past the normal timeout here, not when the show is over, but right when the music typically starts. But let's go over and take a look at what's going on on these white background charts for Goldilocks. Hopefully we get something here in the next five seconds on those shorter term time frames like the 10 like the 15 like the 30 that doesn't look like stevie's really going to get his wish we do see a road momentum indicator signal on the 30 minute time frame chart that would need a bullish reversal candle to confirm some type of short-term bottom folks stay tuned for all the great programming i'll see you tomorrow on terrific tuesday take care <laughs>